Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews. Today I'm going to review a fairly small object, and it is the Aluma wallet. And I'm going to compare that to the wallet that I've been using, which is the Aulet. They're actually at the far end of the spectrum from one another. This Aluma wallet is, will not get any bigger than this, but will also not get any smaller. It's a hard shell, hard case. The Aulet is actually made out of a spinnaker material that they make sails out of um, on actual sail, sail ships. And it is the thinnest wallet that you could possibly buy. Of course, the wallet is only going to be as small as the stuff you put in it. So we're going to take the Aluma wallet out of the package here, compare it, see how well the things fit there and how comfortable it is to use. Okay. Well, it took a few minutes to get this set up, not because the package was hard to open. That went really quickly. This guy, though, was quite a bugger, and there are no instructions, and you would think it would be simple enough to open, but I could not figure out how to open this. I tried sliding it. I um, was pretty sure this wasn't the side that it opened, that it had to be this side. Anyway, after a lot of trial and error, I found if you push this little bumpy thing in, that releases it and opens the guy up. And this is what you've got inside. There isn't a place especially for money in my wallet, in the Aulet. You have the spot for money that you can leave it um, in its natural unfolded form. This one, it appears you would have to take the money, fold it up, and stick it into these slots that they've given you for cards and as an organizer. I don't see anything at either end that would open it up and allow you to put your money in there without having to fold it. Well, the cards will fit in here. And when you close it up, it does seem fairly solid. Their big thing is about you can drive a truck over it and whatnot. So I'm going to put it on the ground here and stand on it. All 230 pounds of me. And foot up and back down. And I didn't manage to break it. I don't think. Let's pop it open. Yeah, still seems to be completely functional. Don't really see any scratches in it. So that wasn't too bad. That's the, something definitely going for this, is it's a uh, claim to being somewhat indestructible. Also, with the aluminum exterior, if you are worried about RFID tags, which are uh, little chips that they can put in credit cards and in uh, passports, other types of uh, things you would carry on you, that are activated when they go near a sensor that sends them electricity at a proper frequency and they respond with information, and you don't want that information going out, with this sealed up and the aluminum all around it, that shouldn't happen. You shouldn't have to worry about someone being able to scan your cards or your whatever it is you have in here that you're worried about people getting that information. So I'm going to now transfer what I usually carry in my Aulet, varying amounts of uh, cash, Oops. varying amounts of cash, as well as credit card, um, driver's license, um, other library card, insurance card, so forth. I'm going to get all this stuff into this one and see how it fits. Okay, I have emptied out my Aulet. This is really just a piece of very thin, very strong material. You can see it is you know, flat as a folded over piece of paper when it's completely flat. What really makes the wallet big is all the stuff that's in it. So I've got the money here, the credit cards, driver's license, library card, a few business cards and so forth. I've put them in the way I assume they should be. I, I think if I pick this up and were to tip it, things would just fall out. But my problem has been now trying to close it. Oh, that, um, well, I, I guess I could fold my money a little better. I've probably got a 10, a 5, and maybe three ones. So there's some bulk there. But even if I take the money out, the cash out, now uh, let's see about closing it. If the cards had to be tucked fairly well down in there. The picture of my kids is the thing poking up then. Oh, I, I, I cannot squeeze this thing closed. So as hard as this is to believe, the contents of this little guy, the world's thinnest wallet, they advertise it as. You can get it at Amazon. You can buy it from their website. This is the second one I've owned. I've had this type of wallet for close to 10 years. I learned about it from Clark Howard. Um, first one lasts about five years. And yeah, I started to get these little threads. Like this one is probably three, four years old now. It gets a little thready on the end. But still, perfectly functional. I mean, the thing's got to weigh an ounce. Compared to this, which looks like it should really be a, hold a lot more than that little thing, but because it's not expandable at all, with the, what I had in here, minus the cash, I cannot get the darn thing to close. So, um, if you don't have a lot of stuff to put in a wallet, 
and you're paranoid about uh, your RFID signals and it's possible you're going to drive over your wallet and don't want the things to be really crushed, then this might be a good choice. Otherwise, this wallet, this is really a great wallet.